हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द फार्मेस्ट्री विद दिशा आई एम दिशा है एंड इन वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ हाउ टू रीड योर ओन हैंड वी हैव वी वर लर्निंग अबाउट फिंगर्स एंड प्लैनेट्स एसोसिएटेड विद दोज फिंगर्स एंड द एनर्जी फैक्टर्स ऑफ दोज प्लैनेट्स सो वी हैव कवर्ड जुपिटर सैटन सन मर्क्य वीनस प्लानट फोर मोर प्लानट्स आर लेफ्ट इन फार्मेस्ट्री दो मून मार्स राहू एंड केतु There is no finger assigned for these four planets, but there is a specific area in our palm. That area is called mounts. And when we learn about we learn about mounts, we will take the energy factors of these four planets. But before proceeding to the um, mounts, I will like to give you a little information about the types of lines and symbols in our palm. Uh, people do ask me that uh, whether lines do change so my answer is yes of course line do change lines do change in our palm with the change of our thought process even and with our deeds with our efforts line gets change we have uh, we have various line in our palm some are short some are long some vertical lines horizontal lines slanted lines spiral lines various lines are present so some lines are stationary lines some lines are some lines come come and they give results and they get vanish some lines are not appearing on the palm they are under skin and you cannot so see those lines with naked eyes but if you use a microscope you can see those lines which are under skin and a per, a, if a person is putting efforts in that direction that, that line will come up and show the results and that is the way that palmist give the prediction regarding your past present and your future a little change in the direction of a line can change our entire prediction that we'll understand by this diagram so we can see that only a little direction has been changed with this for this line but the entire expression of the face has been changed same as in our hand a little change in the direction of a line can change the entire prediction in the line and uh, the good results are amalgamation of three things that is the good area the good area means our mounts or fingers jupiter mount jupiter finger then good seed good seeds means the various symbols present on those mounts or fingers then our own efforts these three will give you the good results if anything is missing out of these three you will not get the good result in your life and it is well said that luck doesn't work alone in your success so we we learn about uh, learn different types of lines vertical lines there are two kind of vertical lines upward vertical lines and horizontal vertical lines the upward vertical lines are these lines are going towards fingers and they start from our wrist or our grease tet lines these lines are little broad to at uh, the start and they are narrow at the and of it and that means to a finger side it, they are little narrow and these lines are progress lines these upper vertical lines can appear anywhere in our hand even on our main lines that is lifeline headline and heart line this line is our this line is our lifeline this is our headline and that is our heart line so uh, upper vertical lines can appear on our main lines even like this so wherever they present we have learned about uh, energy factors of all planets so we, oh, uh, uh, on a palm what area it is appearing they will increase the energy factors related with that area 
and give the progress in that field. The downward vertical lines. Downward vertical lines are the lines which start from the fingers and go downwards towards our wrist or the sweat lines. These lines are little broad at the start and narrower at the end. That means from the fingers it's a broad, little broader and towards near this side they are narrow. So they can, wherever they will appear on our palm, they show some hurdles, problems in our lives. Then comes the slanted and slanted lines. These are lines also called raindrop lines. These kinds of lines are like this and they share and be anywhere on our palm. And these also lines also shows problems in our life. And they can be in the shape of a, a spiral or a curved lines like this. Then the fourth one is our horizontal line. Horizontal line can be um, thick or thin and they can also oh, be uh, also present anywhere in our palm. Mostly these kind of lines can be seen on our Venus mount. They can also be seen on our, on our moon mount and they are all they are also called tension lines they give you tensions and problems in our life we have various symbols present in our palm some are good some are bad and they may not appear as the name suggests so we have to look very carefully and cautiously for uh, while looking the symbols the first symbol is triangle this is the most auspicious symbol in our hand and we call it as a lucky triangle. When three independent lines cut in the shape of a triangle, then this is called a triangle symbol. It can appear anywhere on our palm. Suppose this is our sun line and we, we can see sometime this kind of a structure over here. And this is a triangle present on our Venus mount, on our Mercury mount. So there's a difference in between the results of these both triangle. We call, though it's not a triangle, but it can work, it can give the results uh, of a triangle, good results. So this triangle will give you the good results in your work field and it will and the sun line is related with the name and fame so you'll get a name and fame in your work field sometimes we can we'll see some this kind of shape in our palm though this is not a triangle but it can be if you are putting efforts in that direct in that direction in that field then it will eventually it will become a triangle and give you the best result in that field. But if you are not putting the efforts in that field, this this whole line will get vanished. This line will get vanished and will it will not become a triangle. The other sign is a rectangle. As I said in a uh, triangle, when four independent lines cut each other then it, it is called a rectangle symbol and it can appear on anywhere on the palm and we call it as a shield because wherever it appear it, it work as a protection to your um, to your palm towards the results of the other symbols present in our if palm. you have some bad symbols and bad signs in your hand and you have also a rectangle that shows that you will get protected from those problems and obstacles this is this will work as a shield towards those problems and those um, obstacles it can remove a thousand uh, obstacles from your life if a rectangle is present in your palm for example, if if there's a gap in, in your lifeline or in your heart line and along with that 
there's a gap in between lifeline yeah and along with that there's a rectangle present on one side either or towards both side it will uh, protect you from uh, from any kind of mishappening in your life so it's a very powerful symbol and uh, it gives very good results it's a very good sign in our hand and in our remedy chapter we learn about uh, some practices which we use as a remedy uh, uh, if you have bad signs in your hand and out of those there's a one remedy is that we'll uh, draw an imaginary rectangle in our hand wherever the bad sign appear on your palm so we'll learn in our remedy chapter the other symbol is circle as the name suggests it will not uh, you will not find exact round circle in your hand it can appear in any shape like this up like this so this is a circle this is also a good sign it can appear anywhere on your palm sometimes you will get a, a not a, a whole circle a semicircle on your palm mostly these kind of semicircles you can find under your fingers under jupiter fingers saturn finger sun finger or even on a, under mercury finger so like this under jupiter finger if you find this kind of a semicircle this is called a ring of the same finger and under jupiter finger this ring is called ring of solomon this is a good sign and this is a good symbol in your hand and it it will give very good results in your life if it is appear in your palm the other good symbol uh, is a angle angle like this if you see any kind of angle mostly this kind of angle you will be able to see in between the in between two fingers here like this so these all are good signs and wherever they appear in your palm they will give, give the good results the triangle rectangle circle the ring and the cone now there are bad symbols in our hand first one is a cross when two independent line intersect each other then if this is a cross symbol no matter what no matter how many good signs are present in your palm with a particular planet if you have a cross in your hand you will get obstacles problems hurdles related to that planet so it's not a good sign at all when any what a third line will join this in this cross this is called a star whether one line the two line three line four line or how many lines will get attached to this this is called a star so when two lines are intersecting then it's a it's a cross and there if there are more lines then it's called as a star but both line both symbols are not good at all in your palm if it will appear under on a sun saturn mount or under a sun fing saturn finger this shows that uh, uh, there are operations or some accidents in your life and if it will appear under a, under a sun sun finger or sun mount this will show that you will get uh, uh, problems related to eyes or you will get job loss but but only only if will up it will appear under jupiter finger or on jupiter finger or on jupiter mount this is the area of a jupiter mount then this will give the good results whether it will appear on a jupiter mount on a left hand or right hand or in the hand of a male or female it will give the good result so if a cross is present anywhere 
on the palm it is not a good sign but if it appear it appears on the so jupiter finger or jupiter nine it is uh, it is considered to be auspicious and it gives the good result in life it shows that the person will get a very compatible and good looking spouse their spouse will be talented and good um, good nature but uh, as i said don't get panic if you see this kind of sign in your hand we have remedies for all these things and i said that a good result is the amalgamation of area seed and efforts and if you are putting good efforts if you are putting efforts these kinds of these kind of symbols can be removed from your hand even so don't get afraid if you see this kind if you see some bad symbols in your hand the other bad symbol is island island is a is this kind of a shape and this symbol is not considered good this shape is not island this is a oval shape island is a shape where the both ends are meeting in each other it is a shape like of a wheat or an eye shape so the both ends should meet then it is called an island and wherever it will appear it will give the bad results regarding that um, planet and the energy factors and this is most dangerous sign and this sign is a, uh, is a death like sign in hand uh, if you have a uh, a rectangle along with this sign though it will give you some protection from this happening but this sign is so dangerous the even rectangle cannot eradicate all this happening all problems um, from your life uh, and if you if you see a, a island in your hand and along with that if you have a rectangle also this will give you uh, it, it will say that you have to have go to uh, the doctors and have medicines and if there is no rectangle present then you have to go to doctors maybe you have to get admitted in the hospitals for a long time and where uh, at what time it will appear in hand in in the lines that time will grim bring the problems and we learn about the timings in our lines in our coming videos so we can find the timings also that this time would would not be good for your life and uh, what we can do when we see these kind of symbols we should be patient we should uh, give some uh, time to life and don't get panic because all obstacles can be removed with your patience the other symbol is grill the grill is when three uh, vertical lines and four horizontal lines or we we have four vertical lines and three horizontal lines then this kind of a sign is called a grill if we have more vertical lines suppose we have uh, four vertical lines and four horizontal lines then this is not considered to be as a grill we have to have either three vertical lines and four horizontal lines or we have four vertical lines and three horizontal lines then this is called a grill sometimes we get confused we have so many lines over here on in our on our venus mount so this these lines are not grill lines these lines are called tension lines but these are these lines are not grill lines grill lines are dangerous signs and that can be found in the hands of some criminals or the people who breaks laws and uh, this this sign can uh, get you to the court and if you are pleaded guilty this kind of sign is present in your hand then you can even get the death sentence 
if this kind of a sign, uh, sign is present in in your Venus Mount, then maybe you'll get uh, a jail or death sentence and uh, crimes related with the women or female. So this is not a good sign. And I pray to God that nobody will have these kind of bed lines across island or a grill. But don't get afraid of these lines if you do these kind of symbol in, in your hand. And these symbols are uh, real, but it can appear in your hand. Now we learn about the metoglyphic configuration on our hands. We can see various patterns and on our skin all over our palm. And on our first phalange of fingers, these patterns are called the fingerprints. And these are unique for every individual. Uh, there are various kinds of patterns there, but we'll um, take only few which are important. There's a separate science, a branch of a science to study these kind of patterns. The first one is hole or chakra. There are two kind of chakras in our present in our hand. So figure like this is called a chakra. And the first one is this one is a anti-clockwise chakra and this one is a clockwise chakra. The other one is loop and we can say shank and This one is a clockwise shankha and this one is anti-clockwise shankha. These kind of patterns are you can see on your fingertips. And if you see uh, a hole, only a single hole is sufficient for a good luck. And, uh, and a shankha also or oh, is uh, if you have a shanka on your fingertips that's also a good sign go see and how much lucky you are <laughs> so these kind of patterns are also we can see on our mounds under the fingers and out of those this kind of a uh, uh, pattern is very important and in our coming video, with the help of this sign, we will determine in, uh, in this kind of sign if available are present on your mount. Then we can define who is Jupiterian, who is Mercurian and who is Venusian in our next video with this sign, of, with this sign present on your mount. There are various other uh, uh, some patterns like this one is like we can find this on a moon mount or on a Mars mount this is called a sheaf pattern so there are, we, uh, there are three important patterns one is hole, chakra then loop, shankha two kind of holes are present clockwise or anticlockwise and two kind of shankha is present clockwise and anticlockwise so in in your right hand if a clockwise <coughs> sorry if you have a clockwise chakra and a clockwise shankha that is considered to be good 
and in your left hand side if there is an anti clockwise chakra and anti or anti clockwise chakra that is considered to be equal as i said that if you only if you have only single hole in any of your finger that is considered to be very good now there are various hindu signs in our palmistry as we know that palmistry is an indian sculpture and it's originated from india though uh, we can uh, it's very difficult to find any book written by indian writer there are so many books available uh, written by foreign writers uh, kiro and so many other writers are there but is the irony of the fact that we, we do not have any good book by yes, an palmistry was an uh, was an more like a oral art in our culture and it was being spread through mouth to mouth to our uh, our, our springs of springs and that's why we are not able to find any good book and uh, in hinduism we uh, we have so many uh, auspicious symbols in western palmistry these uh, the western palmists do not consider these kind of symbols but in hinduism we know that these symbols are very important so we have various hindu symbols we can see on our palm out of those are swastik though you cannot get the perfect swastik form in your hand it can be in a shape like this or that that is a swastik sign then you can see a, a flag shape or leaf shape and a shape of a lotus because uh, lotus is very considered to be auspicious in in hindu in hinduism then other signs are um a kind of a heart shape we get we call it a mandir then a scale shape and a shape of a mountain or a shape shape of an umbrella shape of a mountain and we have a shape of a tree these all symbols are considered to be auspicious and shape of a trident that is also considered to be very good if you see this kind of a shape in your hand and and it it's considered to be a good omen if you see this kind of symbols in your hand now there are various symbols and signs of a planet we have which we have learned in our previous videos also that each planet has their own symbols jupiter planet symbol is is most like a swastik it's a it's a this sign but so you will not find this kind this kind of a sign exactly like that as i said you can have this kind of sign in a this shape or that shape so this is a swastik sign or jupiter sign and they these kind of um, signs of various planets can be found on its own place uh, in your own mounts or can be you can see anywhere on on the palm so saturn um, sign is like a an age so you can find this kind of sign sun sign is a circle and a dot in between and then mercury sign is like a circle and a crown and a vertical and a little horizontal line this is a mercury mount sign then venus sign is it's the same as mercury but there is no crown this is a venus sign then rahu and ketu sign is rahu sign is like a like a snake and a ketu sign is like a uh, is a curved line is like a snake then moon sign is uh, as we draw a moon like this and uh, mars sign is a circle and an arrow in any direction it can be in any direction in left side or right side and that's all about various types of lines in our hand
different types of symbols bad symbols and good symbols present on our palm where it's kind of finger patterns present on our palm and where so many auspicious hindu symbols which can see on our palm and different sign of planets that can be present on our palm and uh, hope uh, i hope that this video will help you to learn palmistry and if you have liked my video please click the like button and if you want to see my upcoming videos please subscribe my channel and till then keep watching thanks take care and bye